Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pointless Top 10, a show where we make top 10 lists of the pointless things. Where are we flying by this pointless statue in Booty Bay? Because inside pointless things are treasure. Let's begin. 10. Number 10 are the mechanical farmhands, which are harvest golems located at the Amber Waves in the Stormsong Valley. And I think these are really cool harvest golems. They're kind of an updated version of the harvest golem that got put in there in Battle for Azeroth. But the reason that I have them at number 10 is because I came here being like, dude, Stormsong Valley is going to have some scarecrows, right? Like I was looking around. There's so much farmland here. I was like, there's bound to be some scarecrows. And there was literally zero scarecrows. I was blown away. I was like, dude, are you kidding me? Like out of all the zones where there could be scarecrows, you would think you'd find at least one here, right? Like there's plenty of birds flying around. We're near the ocean. Actually, I guess I see more butterflies, but there's probably birds. I actually don't know if there's crows near the ocean. But there's like other birds near the ocean, right? They'd probably try eating the crops. In fact, according to Google, it says that crows are often in open areas like fields, open woodlands, farms, pastures, and shores. So yeah, they would be near here. So yeah, the harvest golems are cool. I like their new models. Well, they're not even really new they're kind of the old new models but there should be at least a couple scarecrows here and so that's why i had to put them at number 10. nine number nine is a scarecrow located in fallhaven in drustvar and i put this on the list not because i wanted to show off this old classic looking scarecrow which they, they are on the list don't worry but uh they have a bunch of wicker men located around here and so in my mind i was like dude why didn't they just use these big wicker men statues of scarecrows well i guess that would be a little overkill but you can make like tinier versions of it right but uh, i also wanted to use this opportunity to show off these cool big wicker men because they're kind of like scarecrows you know what i mean but it's got like a moving head uh almost like when you go to a restaurant you see like a moving head of like a moose or something i don't know but uh, it's got antlers. There's, there's actually some birds flying around it. Maybe that's why you don't put this out there. Maybe the birds would actually be attracted to the weird wicker man thing. And you know, nothing against the scarecrow. You know, he's doing his job. He looks cool, but I'm just saying they had some better options. They could have went with those, but that's why they put them at number nine eight number eight is ichabod and ichabod is a baby harvest golem that was obtainable for viewers who gifted at least two twitch subscriptions to creators from november of 2022 to december of 2022 which you better have gifted those to me all right but i like ichabod you know he's a little baby harvest golem he's got a little pumpkin on his head which i think is fun uh according to the pet journal he was tinkered with by the gnomes which have made him far less likely to attack your knees which is pretty funny and so listen there's not that many scarecrows and harvest golems in world of warcraft so i was like ichabod's gonna make this list all right he's one of the most unique uh harvest golems in the game because he was the first baby version of a harvest golem added to the game and i was like you know what i like him fun little guy i gotta put him on the list and so that's why ichabod is number eight seven number seven are the scarecrows located at belladar's bounty in hallowfall and the reason i like this scarecrow is it's an updated version of the classic scarecrow it's kind of got that same feel to it they gave it a different hat but it's very much a redone version of the old classic scarecrow in fact i thought this would be a great time to talk about scarecrow history so according to wikipedia a scarecrow is a decoy or mannequin that is often in the shape of a human Humanoid scarecrows are usually dressed in old clothes and placed in open fields to discourage birds from disturbing and feeding on recently cast seed and growing crops. Machinery such as windmills have been employed as scarecrows, but the effectiveness lessens as animals become familiar with structures. And apparently there's much better methods now than using scarecrows, such as aluminized pet films that you tie onto the plants to produce shimmers from the sun, or some people use inflatable tube men. So that's right, those big tube men you see at car dealers are literally being used as scarecrows so that's kind of weird but i guess it makes sense but either way that's why the belladar's bounty scarecrows are number seven six number six is the haywire golem located in drustvar and the haywire golem is a part of a world quest where you have to kill the haywire golem and that's it because if you couldn't tell it's gone haywire right it's actually killed some of the farmers here at least that's what you can piece together they don't really give you any lore or reason they're not like the farmers got killed by the haywire golem they're just like go kill it something's a something's going wrong over there like they genuinely don't tell you anything about it but i guess you can piece it all together from just looking around and being like damn this this golem's gone haywire i also just really like the aesthetic of this area you have like the farmland but you also have the mountains in the background and the barren trees and just i don't know i just think it's a really cool area aside from you know the hanging bodies but if you look past that it's a really nice place and you know the the harvest golem going haywire and killing everybody but either way that's why the haywire golem 
is number six, five. Number five are the Scarecrows located in the Valley of the Four Winds in the midst of Pandaria. And this is definitely one of the more unique Scarecrows in World of Warcraft. You can obviously tell it's from Mist of Pandaria. It has the Sedge Hat, I believe is what it's called. Uh, it's got some bamboo arms. It's got uh, the body is made out of, I think, like a bag you would store vegetables or whatever produce in. And one of the Scarecrows even has a kite attached to it. It looks like there's a, I almost said dragon. That's definitely not a dragon. That's a crane. <laughs> It has a crane attached to it. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a crane. And obviously there's plenty of these scarecrows all around because the Valley of the Four Winds is loaded with farms and farmland and there's plenty of birds flying around as well. So they got to keep those birds away. So I like Mr. Pandaria. I like the Valley of the Four Winds and I like these scarecrows. So that's why I put them at number five. Four. Number four is the Arakoa Scarecrow, located next to the Void Touched Pumpkins in the Shadow Moon Valley. And I'm so happy we finally got a Scarecrow that isn't just kind of a generic, you know, human looking Scarecrow. Like, we actually have an Arakoa Scarecrow, dude. I love this. And I remember I was flying around Spires of Iraq and I saw these uh, bird statue Scarecrow looking things. And I was like, dude, it would be so cool if they used these as Scarecrows. These would be the perfect Scarecrows. But I couldn't find any. It was just kind of like shrines and stuff like that. Like, you can see right there there's a bunch of them in the spires of Iraq just sitting around and I was like I think that'd be so cool and then I fly over to Shadow Moon Valley and I see this and I was like there it is I love it I'm so happy we actually have it, it's kind of ironic because it's like a bird scarecrow to chase away the birds you know what I mean and so yeah I just I really love the scarecrow and I knew I wanted to put it higher up on the list because of all the things I just mentioned and so I did and that's why it's number four three number three is the scarecrow located in Valshara and it's actually just kind of a normal scarecrow kind of like the one we saw back in Rustvar, but he's wearing a top hat and a suit. And this is a scarecrow that you can actually find in Gilneas. You can also find it in New Arathi Highlands. But I chose Valshara because unlike many of the other scarecrows we've seen, this scarecrow is actually actively doing its job. Although I don't know how well he's doing his job because with all these birds flying around, there are some that are just like chilling in the fields, like chilling by the scarecrow. Like <laughs> maybe, maybe they don't really care about scarecrows, but you know what? At least he's giving it an attempt. And so that's kind of why I put this guy so high up on the list at number three because not only is he a scarecrow wearing a top hat and a suit, but he's actively doing his job as a scarecrow. There's all these birds flying around, so he's clearly needed there, even if he's not, you know, scaring them away, but he's he's trying to, and it's just, it's a very scarecrow type of scene with the dark clouds and all the corn and just, I just, I think it's really fitting for scarecrows, and so that's why I had to put him at number three. Two. Number two is the Faux Reaper 4000 and the Faux Reaper 5000. And both of these are located in Westfall, though one is in the Dead Mines. And so the Faux Reaper 4000 is a rare mob that'll appear randomly every four to six hours in Westfall, while the 5000 is an elite harvest golem in the Dead Mines, and it is an upgraded model of the Faux Reaper 4000. And I thought this would be a good spot to actually talk about harvest golems in general, because nobody really knows the origin of harvest golems. Some people theorize that the goblins created them, but a lot of people speculate that the Defias Brotherhood had harvest golems built to scare off local inhabitants of Westfall so that they could run their smuggling operations. And then later on, the Alliance just started to use them for their own, like we saw in Stormsong Valley, or they're also in Borean Tundra, Drustvar, pretty much a whole bunch of Alliance farms. And so yeah, the Harvest Golems are really cool. They resemble Scarecrows, although much deadlier than actual Scarecrows, especially the Faux Reapers, and that's why I put them at number two. One. And number one is the classic World of Warcraft Scarecrow. This is the one you see in Westfall, you see it all over the places of classic World of Warcraft, Elwyn Forest, Arathi Highlands, Duskwood, it's all over. And he's just got some raggedy clothes with a pumpkin head and a hat. And even if it's not the most appealing Scarecrow, I think it really is the embodiment of a Scarecrow, especially with the pumpkin head. And I'd also include the Westfall Harvest Golems here because they are probably the most well-known Harvest Golems in the game. These are the harvest golems you would see leveling up your alliance characters at like level 12 or whatever it is. So I'd also include them as a part of this at number one. And like I mentioned previously, you know, this is the most common scarecrow in World of Warcraft to the point where you can see this used in like Battle for Azeroth. And so they finally updated the scarecrow in the War Within, and it definitely was time for an update. But I still appreciate the old one and the harvest golems. And so that's why they're number one. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Pointless Top 10. If you want more Top 10s, you go watch Farmers, that kind of relates to this, or you go watch Yetis. I don't know why, I just thought of Yetis when I thought of Scarecrows for some reason. So you go watch that. Also, consider supporting the channel over on Patreon.com slash or by becoming a channel member. Okay? Okay. See you.